Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel. In this video tutorial I want to show you how to knit a hood or hooded cowl. I didn't wash it yet, but it looks great. It's super warm. No seams. It 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 has a seam, but it's not visible. The hood will fit the head circumference uh, up to 56 centimeters, maybe even more. But for the bigger size, there will be other calculations. You can find them again on my blog. Let's measure. Till the ribbon it's 28 centimeters and the full length it's 41 centimeters. For the bigger size, it has to be about 43. And let's measure the width if you need it 27 and with ribbon 29. So let's talk a little bit about the, the yarn that I was using. I was using a Chinese yarn. It is a mink wool as far as I know it comes together with reinforcing or partner yarn but you don't need to use it if you don't have it uh, no worries and I was knitting in three main yarn together and one reinforcing yarn. So three strands and one reinforcing. And as I said, reinforcing you don't need to use. The weight of this yarn is, I think it's fingering. And you can try using medium worsted weight yarn if you don't have, of course, this yarn, if you don't know where to find it. And I was using 5 mm knitting needles for all parts and 4 mm knitting needles only for this ribbon part. I kindly ask you before knitting, check your gauge. Check it with my gauge and if it's more plus minus one stitch, it's okay. Using long tail custom method and 5 mm knitting needles cast on 90 stitches so three main and one rain reinforcing as you see 90 stitches and plus one stitch we are going to use this stitch to join and knit in rounds so let's join slip the first stitch to the right and needle and then with the tip of left hand needle pick up the last stitch and slip it over the first one Perfect. Check all your stitches and place the stitch marker. Now let's start. We are going to start with ribbon. Knit one, curl one. A little bit tight the first round, but it is only the first one. Knit one, curl one, and repeat. Knit one, curl one, knit one, 
need one so one need one so one please finish this round Round number two, repeat the first round, knit one, row one. Knit one, row one. Need one, throw one. Please finish this round and go on knitting in the ribbon until this part reaches fourteen centimeters. Here I am. Let's measure what we have. Fourteen centimeters exactly. And now we will need three rounds in stocking at stitch. So we need all stitches around. Knit till the end and then two rounds more. So three rounds. Now we are going to bind off central, 10 central stitches. Count 40 stitches, bind off 10 stitches, and then you will have 40 more stitches. So we will have 80 stitches. So let's do it. Now knit 40, go on knitting, so I needed 40 stitches from the stitch marker and now I need to bind off next 10 stitches, slip the first stitch knit the second and then slip the first stitch over the second one then knit one again and slip over knit one slip over knit one Slip over, So bind off in total 10 stitches. And now if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have 40 stitches left with this one. And now 
the the beginning of the round will start here at this point so we start counting new round rounds here so slip the first stitch and now knit 37 so we will knit till the stitch marker until we have two stitches before the stitch marker and let me better show you so you need until you have two stitches before the stitch marker and make one increase and then two stitches after the stitch marker and make another increase so let's do it together knit 37 37 now make one left it means with the tip of left hand needle pick up the bar and knit this bar through the back loop after that knit four And make one left again. Pick up the bar from front to back and knit this bar through the back loop. And finish knitting all other stitches. Knit 37. And at the end, knit the salvage stitch. So on the right side, we will always knit the salvage stitch. On the wrong side, now when we are on the wrong side, we will purl. Slip the first stitch and purl all other stitches. Please go on and finish this row. At the end, as I said, on the wrong side, we will purl the salvage stitch. Turn. Now we will start making decreases to make the opening for the face a little bit wider. So here at the beginning we will make left leaning and here at the end a right leaning decrease. So let's do it and also don't forget we will also make increases here. At the beginning we end at the end we decrease and on the back we increase. So row number three. Slip the first stitch, then knit one and slip knit pass over. It means we will make a left leaning decrease. After that, knit 35 or knit until you have 
two stitches before the stitch marker. So you don't need to count. Now, again, make one left, pick up the bar from front to back, I just help myself with right hand needle, and knit this bar through the back loop, then knit four, and make one left again, and knit 35 or until you have 4 stitches so till this point let's do it together this time Now we need to make a right leaning decrease, so knit two together, knit one, and knit the last sew each stitch. Turn. On the wrong side, curl all stitches across and curl the last sew each stitch. Please go on and finish this row. Okay, row number five. We go on making decreases here. Slip the first stitch, knit one. Now slip, knit, pass over. Now again knit 35. two stitches before the stitch marker, make one left, knit four, one, two, three, four, make one left again, and go on knitting, knit 35 until you have four stitches now knit two together at the end knit one and knit the last selvage stitch turn 
Go on Perlin and I will see you after. Row number seven. No more for this size. Decreases at the beginning and at the end we will make only increases here in the back part. So we need all stitches until we have two stitches before the stitch marker, make an increase before and after and go on knitting till the end and on the way back purl all stitches. After that go on again knitting, making increases and return back and the last time go on knitting, making increases and return back back. So in total you will make three more decreases. So six more rows to knit. Please go on and I will see you after. Here you can see already how the back part is looking. Here and you will see more after. So I've done in total 12 rows. That's what I have. And from this point we will need without increases or decreases. Just knit all stitches and purl on, on knit on the right side and purl on the wrong side. So knit in stocking and stitch from this point 15 centimeters. And to make it more clear I suggest you placing stitch marker so that you understand from which point you have to measure. So go on knitting in stocking and stitch for 15 more centimeters. And here I am. So let's measure. Here is the back part. Till the stitch marker. I've done exactly 14 centimeters. Now we will start making decreases for the angle. Or let's say corner to make it a little bit rounded. So slip the first stitch If I'm not mistaken, there are 88 stitches on the needles. So slip the first stitch. And knit 40. Or knit until you have three stitches before the stitch marker.
Now we are going to make left leaning decrease first, slip knit pass over, then knit two and right leaning decrease, knit two together. Now knit 40. Please go on. Turn. Row number two, throw all stitches without increases or decreases. Finish this row, then row number three. We will knit all stitches and then row number four, purl all stitches. Row number five, we will make again decreases. Slip the first stitch and this time knit 39 or again until you have three stitches before the stitch marker. Now left leaning decrease, slip knit pass over. Knit two and right leaning decrease, knit two together. And knit 40 till the end. Finish this row, after that purl all stitches, row number 6, then row number 7 knit all stitches, row number 8 purl all stitches, and in row number 9 make again decreases, knit until you have 3 stitches before and after stitch marker, make a left leaning decrease, then knit 2, then right leaning decrease, and finish knitting the round. After that knit three more rows in stocking and stitch and I will see you in row number 13. So that's what I have now. We've done three decreases and we need to do two more, even three more. So now row number 13, slip the first stitch and now knit 37. Knit, knit, knit. And now left leaning decrease, slip, knit, pass over, knit two, and right leaning decrease, knit two 
together and knit 38. So finish this row, row number 14, 12 stitches, row number 15 we are going again make decreases. So right, uh, sorry, left leaning decrease and then right leaning decrease and finish row number 16 parallel stitches and row number 17 again knit until you have three stitches before the stitch marker make a left leaning decrease knit two right leaning decrease and i will see you at row number 18 it will be a wrong side please don't knit it and because we are going to make uh, decreases on the wrong side as well. So please go on and I will see you in row number 18. In row number 18 pearl all stitches until you have three stitches before the stitch marker and now pearl two together after that pearl two And now I want that this decrease has the same leaning as on the right side. So for this I turn these two purl stitches and purl two together through the back loop. If you don't want, uh, don't do it. So, and if you look now, it has the same leaning as we did before, left leaning on the right side. And pearl all other stitches till the end. Now when we have done with all decreases, we are going to sew the crown. Cut the yarn and leave a long tail at least 70-80 centimeters. And let's start. First of all, insert the needle as if to knit through this stitch. And then insert the needle as if to purl here. Drop this stitch or you can leave it. And now I insert the needle as if to purl. If you leave it, you need to insert the needle as if to purl. If you drop it just into the center. And right away insert the needle as if to knit and leave this stitch on the needle. Now insert the needle as if to knit in this stitch that we just dropped. Maybe it's better not to drop it. And then insert the needle as if to purl into the next one. Drop this stitch. Again, insert the needle as if to purl and now insert the needle as if to knit. So it's really easy as to purl as to knit on this needle and on this needle as to knit and as to purl on the nearest needle. As to knit so into the center 
and has to grow right away. Let's do it again. Insert the needle as if to grow. And right away insert the needle as if to knit. So let's leave it. Now insert the needle as if to knit. And right away insert the needle as if to curl. Now insert the needle. as if to curl and now here in the, the needle as if to knit. As if to knit and as if to curl. Here as if to curl and as if to knit. So that's what we have. Let's try it again. Insert the needle into the same stitch. You see, we insert the needle into each stitch twice as if to knit and now as if to curl. Insert the needle as if to curl. This one. And then as if to knit. as if to knit, as if to curl. So I hope it's clear. If no, you can use another method, please go on. So here I am, that's what I have. And let's check the seam. So look how beautiful it is. The wrong side, perfect. In the back part. Now what we need, we need to pick up stitches around the opening and we will do it only using two main threads. And don't forget you will need to take the smaller size knitting needles, in my case it is four millimeters. Also prepare two meters of different color yarn. We are going to use it. It will help us to pick up stitches around. So let's start. Find the center. Here. Approximately the center. I'm going to help myself with a hook. So insert. And now take another color yarn because we are going to wrap it around the working yarn always. Each stitch. I know it's boring 
but like this we will see bars that we will use after so the next stitch pick up the next stitch and now wrap the white yarn around the purple one in this way yes boring I think this is the most boring part now the next stitch pick up the next stitch and please check that you insert the needle into the stitch insert the hook and wrap next one and wrap next one and wrap next one And you see already purple bars. So here are white one and in between you see purple bars that we will use when we join folded edge. and wrap now you can slip the stitches to their knitting needles four millimeters don't forget and go on on this part where we were making decreases we will pick up one stitch and then skip another one one stitch pick up and skip another one only at this short part insert the hook into the first knit stitch not selvage stitch but knit stitch and wrap then skip the next one and pick up the next one and wrap then skip the next one and pick up Skip the next one and pick up. Wrap. And all other part of the foot, we are going to pick up stitches in a way. We pick up three and then skip one. We pick up three and then skip one. So one and wrap two wrap three and wrap. Now skip the next stitch and pick up three next stitches. One Two, wrap three, wrap again, skip the next stitch and pick up three more. 
one, one more time. Skip the next and one, wrap. Two, wrap. Three, wrap. Let's slip these stitches to the knitting needles. So I guess it's clear what to do. So you see purple bars here and through these purple bars we are going to work later. Otherwise, they will, they will be invisible if we don't use another color yarn. So let's do it once more. Skip the next stitch. and pick up three next stitches. One, two, don't forget to rub their white yarn. It's very important. And three. So let's return them now. Go on picking up stitches in this way, only you change the pattern where we did decreases. In that place you pick up one and skip one, pick up one and skip one. So here I am. The total number has to be divisible by two because now we are going to start knitting ribbon. So no worries if you have an odd number you can add one stitch always at the end. So let's start. Place the stitch marker. Knit one, purl one. I, I turn the purl stitch because for me it's easier to knit it through the front loop, then through the back loop. Knit one. If you want, you can knit it through the back loop in this way. Or turn it as I'm doing and then purl one. Knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one, knit one. In the next rounds, you don't need to turn it, just here. So that's what we have, and all our purple bars go on knitting in ribbon until the folded edge reaches so you decide it can be 5 cm, 6 cm, 7 cm or even 8 cm. So the folded edge is ready. Uh, it is about uh, 6 and half, 7 cm. 
Now cut the yarn leaving a pretty pretty long tail so it is more than one meter. Cut the yarn. I'm going to use a tapestry needle. You can also use a yarn needle. And let's start. Find the first stitch. So on the right side is knit stitch, on the wrong side. So you see it is knit stitch, and on the wrong side this pearl. And you need to find the first bar. Here it is. That is wrapped by white yarn. So insert the needle from bottom to the top. After that, find the next purple bar. So you see, here it is. And from top to the bottom. Now insert the needle as if to knit and slip it off the needle. Then right away insert the needle as if to purl and leave the stitch on the left hand needle. And now we will repeat. Insert the needle into the same, underneath the same bar that we will work, but from top to bottom. Insert again, but from bottom to top. And then find the next bar. and insert the needle from top to bottom. Now insert the needle as if to knit and drop it off the needle and then insert the needle as if to purl and leave the stitch. So we insert needle twice in each stitch. So again, find the previous bar, insert the needle here again, from bottom to the top, and then find the next bar, sorry here, a little bit, now find the next bar, and from top to bottom. Now insert the needle as if to knit into the next stitch and drop it off the needle then insert the needle as if to curl and leave it. And let's repeat again into the previous bar pull and the next one pull. Don't worry the white yarn you can remove easily after. Insert as if to knit and drop it and insert as if to curl and leave it. So here let me show you how to remove the white yarn. So you see really easy you can pull it 
and remove without cutting it. So let's let's do it one more time. The previous bar. Insert the needle. Then pull the needle underneath the next purple bar. And here as if to knit and as if to row. I hope it's clear, it's not that hard. So go on joining folded edge till the end. For the hood we need to make an eye cord. Well, for an eye cord I'm using only two main strands without reinforcing and three millimeters knitting needles. Cast on three stitches and now slip them to the right side and knit three. Really easy. One, two, three. Again, slip all three stitches to the right side, move them and knit three. One, two, three. And that's what you're going to repeat. Slip. And need three. One, two, three. Let's do it once more. Move to the right side and need three. One, two, Go on knitting until your eye cord reaches 80 or 90 centimeters. That's it guys and that's what I have. I inserted the, an eye cord inside so as you see. And the hood is ready. And please pay attention I didn't wash it and it looks great already. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, or like this video and if you want to support me there is a thanks button underneath. The written instruction you can find always on my blog. Please, you're welcome to use it.